Hello guys, welcome to this video. We're going to be looking at task 18H. The question says, open the file saved in task 18G. Change the tutor field so that the user can select their tutor from the list of staff uh, codes in TBL teachers, right? More or less like table teachers, right? So what we want to do here, now let's go to uh, table teachers to actually locate the S code, which, start, which stands for... Um, yeah, which stands for staff code, right? So I want to go to my database. Um, let me see. This is task 18 uh, G. So I want to open that. I actually want to let me save it as first of all. Um, let me save it as um, task 18 H here. So let me just do that quickly. Task 18 H just to be able to know which one is which. All right, so I want to close this and I want to be sure that I'm opening task 18H here. Just want to be sure of that. All right. Okay, so what we're going to do here is, um, first of all, if you take a look at tab, uh, the table teachers here, you find out that this is the S code. So we want to use this list here, this codes here, as a list for the tutors. Okay, because this represents each tutor. The codes represent each staff, right? So what I want to do here is actually to go to design view. Um, okay, so I'm going to get rid of uh, these ones here, right? Uh, I may want to push down this detail down just to make a, a bit of space, right? Um, so what we want to do here, we want to use the list box, right? Which is this one. You can, you can actually use the combo box, but the thing is, the combo box will actually allow you to add more items. So if you want to type something in the, you know, in the uh, box or probably the yeah the list the list you can add you can add new item, which is not exactly what we want. So we want a situation whereby the only items we're going to have there will be the S code. Okay, so this is where the list box comes in. So when you use a list box, it will not allow new items to be added. Right, so. I'll just click there. Uh, I want to drag down like this. Let me just leave it at this. Okay, let me just, uh, yep, that's fair enough. Okay. So you want it to, we want to get values from another table or query. So we're interested in a table actually. So I would, that first one, uh, check the first uh, radio button. So you want to go to next. We're interested in uh, table uh, teachers. And then you want to go to next. Now we want to get our, our values from uh, S code, which is staff code. So we are good with that. So I'll push it to the, to the right. And we want to make sure that it is um, actually in ascending order. So that's, um, you know, it will be uh, good to be actually, um, you know, uh, ordered actually. As you can see here, it's ordered from A to Z. So we're good with that. So let me just um, resize this. Um, let me just one more a little further yeah next we want to uh, store the value in in the in a particular field and then in this case we want to store the values in tutor right so we nest it mm, what level are we going to give this so let's give it tutor for convenience sake and then we can finish okay so as you can see so of course this has taken tutor already so i think we're good with this so let's see from the uh, what's it called? The uh, the form view. Let's see. So everything is here. So we can actually um, actually click here. So any of the data you click here, that will be added to the tutor field. Okay. So I think uh, that's about it. So we're able to uh, change the tutor field so that the user can select their tutor from the from a list. So. As you can see, this is the exact list. Okay, so the next one we want to do is actually to save, and that is how this can be done. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and share the video, uh, and also like the video so that people that are looking for such this kind of uh, you know content will easily find it. Okay, so you're helping others. All right, so thank you so much. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.